Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. And I finally finished up my Batman Justice League tactical bat suit. In this video, we're going to cover the arms and the legs. Let's just jump right into it. Why don't we? So here are the templates for my shoulder pads. I'm cutting it out on some half inch EVA floor mat foam. And then I took the templates and I cut the accents out of five millimeter craft foam. I'm using contact cement to glue all my stuff together. I even use contact cement for my accents and it should go on something like this. And then once I get it all together, I'm going to apply some heat so I can get some more curvatures to make it look cooler. Now I'm cutting out the accents for my bicep guards. I'm using five millimeter craft foam and I'm cutting all my pieces in a beveled angled edge. And then here is the rest of the bicep guards. I drew in my line so I know where I'm supposed to apply my glue. Then once I get it on there, I apply some heat so I can curve the foam together just like that. Makes it look a lot cooler. Now it's starting to look pretty legit. I'm gonna take my wood burner. I'm gonna cut me some slots so I can stick my elastic in there. Wanna make sure that it wraps around the arm. And then once I get it in there, I'm gonna hot glue it from underneath. And then I'm gonna take my super glue and super glue all my accents on there. Now here are my pieces for the gauntlets. I went ahead and applied some contact cements for putting on my accents. I'm gonna put everything together. It should look something like this when I'm done. Then I'm gonna flip this thing over and hit it with some coarse sandpaper so I can apply my contact cement. Then I'm gonna glue this thing underneath it, which just kinda covers the arm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my accents for the gauntlet. I'm hitting it with the wood burner so I can get the edges to bevel like that. And then I'm gonna apply some contact cement on the edges of the center and then the surface of the edges, I guess. Then I'm gonna take some low temp hot glue and apply it into these V grooves that I cut with the wood burner. Hold it in place until it's cooled down. And then I'm going to glue the rest of my accents onto the gauntlets. Now I'm going to use the center line of the gauntlet to the center line of the accents and then glue all my pieces down together. And once you're done, it should look something like this if you're working on the same thing. Now I'm going to take my wood burner and then cut me some slots into the arm so I can put some elastic on there. I've already got some Velcro sewn onto it. I'm gonna stick it in there with a tongue depressor and then use some high temp hot glue to hold it down from underneath. This thing gets really hot so you don't wanna touch it not with your hands. Then I'm gonna take some more Velcro and some hot glue and glue the uh, loop side Velcro onto the other end of the gauntlets just like that. And then I'm gonna use my high tech clamps to hold it down until the glue is cooled. Now I'm going to take my accents and glue it into place with some super glue. I think these additional accents is really setting it off. Here are the patterns for my fins. I didn't feel like cutting it with a razor blade so I ran it through my laser cutter and then I glued them together for thickness. It's time to glue it onto the gauntlets. I'm using more super glue and holding it in place for a few seconds. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. It's starting to look really sick, I think. Here's the pattern for the hand wraps. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, then I'm gonna roll with it anyways. I'm cutting it out in some two millimeter craft foam for some flexibility. Then I'm gonna glue my pieces together, added some Velcro so that I can easily take it on and off. And once it's all put together, it should look something like this. Pretty sick, all right? You can use fabric if you want to. Uh, I just went with two millimeter foam so I don't have to paint it. Well, now I gotta paint it, right? Moving along to the thigh guards. Here are my pieces. I'm just gonna glue everything together just like that. Once you have it all done, you should have something that looks like this. Something that wraps around your leg, your thigh. Here are my accents. I cut them out in some half inch floor mat EVA foam. I took it to my belt sander and I cleaned up the edges just a little bit. Then I'm gonna sand the inside so I can apply some contact cement. This will help adhere a lot better to the surface of the foam on the thigh guards. I'm gonna use some heat so I can mold the accents a little bit better so I don't compromise the shape of the thigh guards. Now I'm gonna take my wood burner, I'm gonna burn some slots, and then I'm gonna stick my elastic in there, which also have some Velcro sewn to it. I'm gonna use some high temp hot glue to hold it all together because low temp just won't cut it. Just saying. And then I'm gonna use my high-tech clamps to clamp everything together. 
using clamps like this will make sure that everything stays glued in place. Then I glue some Velcro on the other end of the uh, thigh guards and it should wrap around your leg. Something like that. So far, so groovy. Now it's time to add some accents. I'm going to use my super duty super glue and glue all my accents on there. Now I use some, I use a laser cutter to cut all my accents, but uh, use a razor blade because that's about $400 cheaper than the CNC laser cutter. I'm just saying. Now I want to take some elastic and glue a loop right there so that uh, I can slide my belt through it. This is going to hold up my thigh guards and then I want to finish off with the rest of the accents. And now it's time to work on the knee pads. Pretty simple design. I went ahead and cut out my shape and then I'm going to cut some V grooves undercuts and I'm going to apply some contact cement and all these spot so that way when I glue it together it should hold its shape pretty well. Now when I went and cut that little pie out I went ahead and cut in an angle that way it would stick together like that a whole lot cleaner. I'm gonna apply some heat and I'm gonna use this funky looking ball so I can get some curvatures on there and she looks something like that. Yeah. Then when I attach these little wings on there they're not bat wings they're just wings like knee wings. Then when I glue some trimming, I use some 2mm craft foam and it's looking pretty legit. Then I glue some velcro with some elastic, elastic with some velcro sewn onto it. And this should wrap around my knees, no problem. Here are the patterns for my boot covers. I decided to go with some quarter inch floor mat foam for this. Now you can actually use fabric, maybe more comfortable. You'd have to break out the sewing machine, which I didn't feel like doing. You can use some black vinyl, look a lot better, a lot more comfortable. Now if you have boots, you might not want to make these boot covers, but uh, it's more ideal for tennis shoes, you know what I'm saying. I added some Velcros to it so I can easily strap it on and off because why not, right? Here are the pieces for my shin guards. I've already got them cut out on some half inch floor mat. Now I made sure I cut the edges or the inner edges in an inward angle so that way when I glue them together it should look something like this. Then I'm going to take my wood burner and I'm going to score me some lines for some details for some um, awesomeness I guess. We don't have to go that far. Then I apply some heat to give it some curvature. I went and glued some elastic with some velcro sewn on. Now it should wrap around your boot covers just like this. And when you're done, it should have something that looks like that. Yeah. Alright, so let's take another look at everything we've made already. There are my shin guards, my knee pads, and the shoe guard, which I will have Velcro to my shoelace. And then here is the armor, already painted, distressed, and everything. I used a combination of bronze, some gunmetal silver, some black. I even mixed it up with some gloss black and matte black as you can see right there. And here's a shot of the belt which I made in a previous video using cigarette box. And here's the thigh guard. Please excuse Manny Quinn. He's not wearing pants today. I got some of these snap buttons that you can get at Home Depot. Comes with the tools to put it on. And I put it on my trap strap so I can button up my cape. And then I made this neck guard thingy which was really uncomfortable to wear so I have to come up with a better solution but for right now it's looking pretty legit now in this picture I've made myself a fabric neck guard and it doesn't hold its shape as well so yeah I'm gonna have to figure out a really comfortable way of putting that on but so far hope you guys are digging what I'm cooking hi right, guys I hope you guys dig the video I hope you guys like my Batman tactical suit if you guys are interested in building your own Batman tactical suit, then uh, links are in the description below. Yeah, I got a bunch of other cool projects coming up. And uh, I even got Batgirl I've been working on. Yeah, she's almost done and expect a video on Batgirl real soon. If you guys like what I do here, make sure you hit that like button, share and comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed because we like doing awesome stuff here.
I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.